Hi everybody, Darcy here from ErgonomicsHelp.com. What I'm going to be doing today is sharing with you our most popular posts from the website. It's all about how to hack your standing desk to fit you as perfectly as possible. Intriguing, right? Before we dive into this presentation all about standing desks, wanted to take a moment and where to point you to find some awesome ergonomics resources. Check us out ergonomicshelp.com. We have an ebook that goes really well with the rest of this presentation. It's a free ebook and it teaches you how to exactly set up your workspace, so your desk for sitting or standing. You can find the link either by going to the description on this YouTube page or following the link on the slide. How long do you typically stand in a day? Is it no standing at all, half your day, or your full day? Now, depending on how long you stand for, you might be exposing yourself to a certain level of ergonomic risk. And they are subdivided into some levels that we're gonna be getting into in a couple of slides. Some telltale signs that you might be looking at an elevated level of risk includes pain, discomfort, fatigue in your lower extremities. One of the most common misconceptions that I come across is that standing all day is a good thing. Well, just like prolonged sitting, prolonged standing is an ergonomic risk. And research has shown that it can only take about 30 minutes of standing for indicators of lower body discomfort to develop. That's it. And in the grand scheme of many of our work days, that's really not a lot of time. But there's one thing that you can do, and simply put, that is standing less. That's it. Let's jump into tip number one. And for this tip, we are using a traffic light analogy. Green, yellow, and red. Green corresponding with the least amount of ergonomic risk or most optimal setup, and red with the most amount of ergonomic risk. Now, I just say, just because ergonomic risk is present doesn't necessarily mean that a work-related musculoskeletal injury is going to develop. Rather, there's other factors at play. You have your personal factors and you have other workstation ergonomic or environmental factors too. So some may develop, others may not. That's important to keep in mind. But let's jump into what these lights mean. So green, the most optimal, means that you're standing continuously for less than one hour at a time and for a maximum of four hours in a shift. Yellow is standing continuously for more than an hour at a time or for more than four hours in a shift. And last but not least, the highest amount of ergonomic risk in the red section here, you're standing continuously for more than an hour and for more than four hours in a shift. So with, with these three areas in mind here, let's reflect on how much you usually stand in a day. Is it mostly green, sometimes in the yellow areas, or is it more in the red area? This analogy can be used for your advantage when planning out your day. If you need to take a second and think about how to schedule this, how to um, really optimize your standing schedule, I totally recommend it because this I find a lot of people really, really like. Let's move on to tip number two. Pro tip, even with the most ergonomic setup, if you physically don't move your body for hours at a time, it's ergonomically risky. If you work at a standing desk all day, it can be a little bit more difficult to incorporate breaks from standing, and you need to deliberately take breaks to work safely within the green and yellow zones. For many of us, it comes down to this, planning your work and then working that plan. You need to keep an eye on how long you're standing for. So if you need to set a timer and base it on a pre-recorded schedule, that you made up before you start your day, then that's a perfectly okay strategy to use. Another way of looking at this is if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Nervous that this may impact your productivity? 
Well, no worries here, as research has recently found that taking more frequent breaks, that is reasonable break, throughout your day, your productivity can actually be improved by up to 10%. Probably one of the easiest ways to improve the ergonomics of prolonged standing is to have the right supportive equipment available. Of course, you'll need a desk that's set up ergonomically too, so make sure to stay tuned for tip number four, which is coming up next. But beyond that, there's many options that can be purchased to enhance your experience while reducing the risks associated with prolonged standing. In the next slide, I'm gonna show you my top add-ons. Number one, work padding or anti-fatigue matting, two perch stools, and three foot rails. Now with anti-fatigue mats, foot discomfort is proportional to the amount of time standing. With this in mind, getting an anti-fatigue mat can be a big value add at improving comfort levels. Padding promotes blood flow and keeps blood from stagnating in the veins in the lower legs that can make you feel fatigued at the end of the workday especially at the end of the work week. Next up, perch stools. These aren't quite for sitting and not quite for standing. They're kind of an in-between or a hybrid, just like our picture shows. Perch stools can be purchased um, to incorporate a slight rest break while you are still standing and the big emphasis is just slight because these types of chairs really lack structure. Nonetheless, research finds that perch stools are a reasonable solution for reducing back discomfort for prolonged standing periods. Last but not least, foot rails. These are placed underneath the desk to allow you to rest one foot at a time. Its aim is to reduce some of the, the load and strain that accumulates in the lower back and lower legs in a typical workday. The height should be approximately 15 centimeters or six inches from the ground, and it should be long enough or wide enough to allow each foot to rest on it. Okay, we're at tip number four today, our final tip in our series, and we're gonna be looking at how to set up your desk optimally to fit you. And the key thing here is it's all about heights. We wanna make sure the heights are right for you, not for your coworkers, but for you. So the way that we're gonna be doing this is I'm gonna be sharing tips on how to set up your desk to match your standing elbow height and then your monitor to match your standing eye height. Because if you can get those right, you're well on your way to making sure that you can stand as comfortable as possible. Let's start off with how to make sure that your desk height fits you perfectly. So what you wanna do here is first check out your neutral elbow height. Your neutral elbow height is when your elbow is bent at about 90 degrees, your upper arm is relaxed to your side, and you shouldn't feel any strain or stress whatsoever in your shoulders, in your upper back, or in your neck area. You should feel comfortable, and you should be able to maintain this position for a really long time, although it's not ergonomically advisable. So you want your neutral elbow height to be slightly higher then your work surface height. And your work surface height includes your desk, your keyboard, and your mouse. To get more information on how to do this, check out our link below in our description. You can find a link exactly where to download this ebook. We have a free ebook, how to exactly set up your work station, whether it's a desk or a standing workstation to fit you. Really valuable, and did I mention it's free? So check it out. And next we're gonna be moving on on how to exactly set up your monitor height to fit you while you're standing. Okay, let's look at how to make sure that our standing eye height is optimized. So with this, you wanna make sure that the screen of your monitor is just slightly lower than your neutral eye height. And also the bottom of that monitor needs to be tilted upwards at about 15 to 20 degrees. To find your neutral eye height, you want to be looking directly forward with your chin exactly parallel to the ground. You shouldn't feel any stress or strain in the back of your neck area. Hope you enjoyed our presentation. Want more? Well, check us out at ergonomicshelp.com. 
And if you haven't had a chance yet, be sure to download our free ebook in the description below. Our free ebook walks you through how to exactly set up your workstation for sitting or standing and gives you all the steps that you need.